Hello everyone, Geisel13 back once again with another Fruity Loop Studios tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to um, get rid of the speaker crackle uh, that some of you may hear, especially if you're on a slower or older computer. Now the only way for this trick to work is for you to have installed the ASIO version 2 uh, drivers for your sound card. Um, it should have came with uh, Fruity Loop Studios when you purchased it or downloaded it illegally. I don't judge. Um, but anyway, what you first need to do is go up to View Project Info, this guy here. Click that and then go to System, Audio, Show ASIO Panel. Now, uh, that will only appear if your input output is set to ASIO for all V2. Now again you have your primary sound driver, any other program you may have downloaded, and your sound card in my class in my case, Sound Blaster Live. But for the best playback quality and for the best sound quality uh, when using Fruity Loop Studios or any producer software, ASIO for all V2 is your way to go. So click that, and these will come up. Click show ASIO panel, and you'll have this guy here. Now, ASIO buffer size, its default is normally at 512 samples. Now, this may be different for each computer. Um, if you have a faster computer, your buffer size can be smaller. But I had terrible speaker crackle uh, at 512 samples. And as I brought it up, there was less speaker crackle for the more sounds I had going at once, or the more VSTs I had going at once. So all the way at max, 2,048 samples is the buffer size. Uh, I'm still new to uh, audio programs, and I just think that the more samples, the slower it'd get, but it actually made Fruity Loop Studios run a lot faster. Um, so yep, increase the ASIO buffer size. Uh, try it one, you know, one degree higher. Um, if it gets better, definitely increase it all the way. I have it all the way and it's been working fine. Um, my computer's slow, so I still can't do a lot of crazy stuff. If your computer's faster, it'll work out better. Once that's done, exit, exit, and you should have gotten rid of the speaker crackle. Now, if you've had speaker crackle before, uh, when you go to render your song, it doesn't show up when you render your song. So it just makes it for easier producing. Thanks. That's it for my tutorial on getting rid of speaker crackle, if you have it. If you don't, congratulations, you're among the few. Um, I have other tutorials on my Fruity Loop Studios blog at flstudiohelp.blogspot.com. Thanks. Have a good one.